So you want to build a great CV. You are still in the early years at, in law school. So the question that's really bugging you is, is it important for you to know exactly what to do? For most people, it might be too early to identify what their real calling is. So how do you go about planning your internships? Most law school curricula are planned in such a way that you will get experience working at different places. So you will be required to intern at the Supreme Court or at the trial court. You will be required to have an NGO internship, a law firm internship. And law students generally tend to plan their uh, law school studies in such a way that they manage to complete these internships. Now, there are a couple of things that are important when you do this. One is that although you haven't decided what exactly you want to do, it is very important to dedicate yourself completely to the activity at hand. So in any situation, say you intern for a week at the trial courts and you realize that this is really not what you like doing. Should you then become disinterested in this? Of course, if you choose to discontinue the internship, it's a different thing. But as a lawyer, it is important to know how the law plays its role at different levels. And a good idea at this stage could be to dive into the depths of it and really understand how the system is working and what are the incentives of the stakeholders. If you do not like how the proceedings go, there may be some reason to it. Maybe you are not liking how, how the conduct probably sometimes is a little casual or how you know working conditions are not the best in trial courts. But what you really need to understand is what is at play here. If you are working on a matter which has gone to trial, how is the law being used, right? What are the different stages in the trial? What are the motives of the actors that are involved, of the participants who are involved in this uh, situation? So what is really the judge trying to do, you know, when he gives time to parties or when he passes a certain order? What is his concern while he's performing his duty? Similarly, what is the role of your senior or the advocate you are interning with when he's arguing for his client? What does the client really want? Can you perceive any divergence or inconsistency between what the client wants and the role that the advocate is performing? It is possible that if you pay attention, you may be able to catch these inconsistencies. And these are really what you will use to build yourself later as a professional. Now, the question was, is there any point of it if you decide not to be a trial court lawyer? And the answer is that in this entire process of doing, say, five or six things that you don't eventually want to do, you end up discovering what you really want. And when you do all these five, six things, you get different inputs and feedback from these processes and they end up shaping you as a professional. You also end up building a very powerful network. That's if you do your job well and that's if you utilize all the opportunities given to you. You build a very powerful network and which is relatively diverse because if you end up eventually working in a law firm, you will end up knowing litigators who worked at trial courts, say from your past internships, you will end up knowing seniors and this will be a network which will be very beneficial to you later on in your career. Most people do not stick to the same career all the time. On a lot of occasions, they end up switching careers and you never know when this will end up being useful to you. The second point that you may want to keep in mind is that this traditional classification of working in a trial court, an appellate court, uh, working with an NGO and working in a law firm, it's too conventional and it does not capture all the ways in which law can be used. For example, consider working in a public policy consultancy. Consider working for a company that works in brand management. Or for example, what about working in a startup, you know, as an intern who will help with legal research and legal work pertaining to the issues that the startup is facing. What about working at a news agency or a media house? Of course, uh, one month internships may be too short to get the best out of these experiences, but you need to be open to all these possibilities because you never know. Maybe once you graduate, you will realize that you really want to open a law firm, but you want to consult, say, early stage investors who invest in startups. So for these ideas to really germinate in your mind, 
it is important that you have a wide range of experiences. I hope you found this useful. Feel free to send in feedback to us. We look forward to hearing from you. Cheers.